Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to teach Katie how to drive manual and right hand drive. And we have the best location to, to do that at, which is my old high school, uh, like five minutes down from the road. So here's the R32. Nothing's changed or anything. Um, we're just going to try and see how good Katie will be at driving. I'm so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's like perfect to learn on the skyline currently in case we do hit anything. I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, it's a giant vacant lot, but um, to just get her familiar with driving in its current state because the paint's already fucked and stuff and you know, I think it would be better for her to learn now before we start really digging into the car and getting all the paint and body work sorted on it. So you ready? I'm ready. All right, let's go. Let's go. Side to side, it means you're in neutral. Let me move. Yep. Okay. But never try to put it in gear without pushing the clutch in while it's running. Will that ruin the transmission? Uh, or... it's not good. <laughs> okay. All right. So make sure you're fully positioned where you could press the clutch all the way in with your left foot. Can I press it in now to see? Yep. It's all the way to the ground. Yeah, but I need to. That's good. That's good? Yeah. Do I need to press it on the weight of the ground every time I shift? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I might have to come up a little more. Are you maxed out? You can still go up? That's good. Okay, that's more comfortable. Alright. You're like right up against the steering wheel. I am short legs. <laughs> so you just press the button and hold, push it, hold it up. Should I push the clutch or anything? No, it's fine. Hold on. Press the button. And now really it should release. <laughs> okay, we're gonna this is gonna be a long day. <laughs> Alright, hold the clutch all the way down. Okay. Put it oh actually I should teach you the shifting pattern. So hold the clutch down. Now move it to the side and then go forward. That's first. Now okay. go down. Straight down? Yep. That's second. Okay. Now, see how you're in the middle? Yeah. That's third. So up in the middle is third? Yep. Okay. Then straight down, that's fourth. Then you're in the middle, move towards you, that's fifth. That's fifth? Yep. Okay. Can I try? Right, yep. So this is neutral? Yep, neutral. Okay, first, second, third, third. yep, and straight down, fourth. fourth. Really? Because yeah. I feel like it's just like back and forth in the same spot, no? No, I could tell. Okay, and then fifth? Yep, that's fifth. Now for reverse. Okay, yeah, because I've been so curious about how the hell do you reverse if there's no R or you know. Well, there was at some point, but it's worn out. So reverse, you hold the clutch down the same way. Okay, it's held down. Towards you, then back down. That's so reverse. That's reverse? Yep, now you're in reverse. So if I let go of the clutch, it'll roll back? Yeah, but don't completely let go, because you still have to give it gas. Oh, cool. okay. All right, All right it's put it in neutral. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's neutral. Yep. All right, so rule of thumb, how I learned how to drive manual is learning how to take off, but learning when the clutch engages. This is your RPM gauge right here. Okay, I knew that. So 
when you start letting go of the clutch very slow you'll see the needle drop that's when you need to slowly add gas and then you ease off the clutch and you let uh and you give it a little bit of gas you gotta be super gentle you gotta like ease into it keep looking at the gauge oh it's dropping yep that's when you add gas now put the, your foot all the way down to the clutch see how it went up yep so that's your point of engagement that's when the clutch engages try it again give a gas there you go give gas get gas get oh, oh too sorry, much sorry, sorry, sorry. You're off the clutch? No. You're gonna burn it if you keep rolling it like that. I'm just gonna brake and clutch. All right, well, we move. <laughs> we move like two. <laughs> yeah, we move like two, two feet. feet. <laughs> All right, as soon as you see a drop, add a little bit of gas and slowly ease off into it. Ooh, almost killed it there. All right, let go of the clutch and press gas. Oh, oh and killed no. it. Oh, you I saved it. I saved it. All, All right. right, I'm like fully on the clutch right now. All right, brake. I knew it wasn't going to be easy, but... I know, I knew it wasn't either, but I'm going to get this. I'm very determined. This oh, yeah. is my car, and I have to know how to drive it, so... You got it rolling. Now go and add gas. Got it. Now you're gonna shift. <laughs> Hold on, slow down a little bit. When you shift, push your foot all the way down to the floor with the clutch. And put it in second and do the same thing. All right, I just did. I just shifted to second. Add gas. All right, now whip it. Whip it? So I can just keep driving like this? Yeah. Oh, wow. Katie's doing it. I'm fucking driving a manual car. Can I shift to third or do I need to go faster for that? Uh, I would go a little faster for that, but we don't need to do that right now. <laughs> okay. Not in this parking lot. Wow, right, this is a nice car to drive. This yeah, feels gonna, good. Now we're gonna learn how to do this again. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool right now. <laughs> <laughs> So then, um, if I'm like at a stoplight, do I just like put the brake in? You put your foot all the way down to the clutch when you're slow, when you say we're approaching a stoplight. Okay. Uh, and you want to stop, put your foot all the way down on the clutch. Okay. Put it in neutral and brake. Oh, okay. So I'm going to try that now. Yep. So I'm going to put my foot all the way down to the clutch. Yep. Put it in neutral. And brake. And then I'll have to take off again. <laughs> yep. And a stoplight. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Just keep going. So we're going around the school now. Um, there's like lanes and stuff that kind of like simulate like driving on public roads. Well, technically they are, but teaching her how to turn and clutch and give it gas while in second, not letting it die. Luckily, uh, we're full of like a lot of sharp turns, um, but she's doing good so far. We've done a couple laps, and coming to a stop. Takeoffs are so a little hard, but um, let's let's get to the uh, parking lot. This has successfully driven the car around a few laps around the school, which is actually really big. Um, but how do you feel now? Uh, I feel pretty good. Yeah. I'm really excited to uh, get this down. Obviously, I wish I was better at it, but I think if I keep practicing, if Richie keeps being super patient with me, which he is a very patient person, um, then I think I'll get it. So. I think you're doing really good compared to most people. Thanks. Especially for it also being right-hand drive. So you learn how to drive right-hand drive and manual at the same time, so you're doing really good. Thanks. Yeah, I feel like I was kind of like, um, wanting to be to a little bit to too left, left. Yeah. yeah but i think like it's a lot at once and like obviously i don't want to kill the car and i know there's there are no cars around so i haven't been too focused on the whole like staying to the right thing but i think once i'm able to kind of shift without thinking as much it'll be easier yep. to do right hand so. there you go open it
Ooh. Nice. It should look really good. It's gonna look great. Well, first screw this out. <laughs> See if you could. Oh. Well, All right. Super easy. Yep. All right. So now, just uh, unplug everything. There you go. Okay, so to get this stuff off, do I just pull it out? Uh, no, so it'll turn. Turn it to the left. And then you pull it off. Oh, and I see. And when you turn to the right, it'll lock it. I understand. So you're gonna transfer those over. Oh, this one, I see there is a little lock. Yep. <clears throat> save these just in case. I like to save all my uh, OEM parts because these cars are getting harder to get parts for, especially OEM parts. Um, any old JDM car I try to save parts for. Just gotta push it really hard and slide it in. That's what she said. <laughs> Richie! <laughs> I hope your grandma isn't watching this episode. She probably is. She's like your biggest fan. <laughs> She'll get a kick out of it. Just gotta line everything up. All right, we got them in. Um, took a little bit of finessing because they didn't really fit too well, but they look good. Next, we pretty much have a color picked out for this car. And orange corner lights wouldn't look good with the color that we're leaning towards. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a good thing we have these. There's just needs to be some adjustment needs to be made here. There's kind of a smaller, like a bigger gap than the other side, not by too much. Um, Cause I know this fender we had to replace in Japan cause it was a little dented. Um, but once this goes in for painting, uh, this will all get adjusted. But I think it looks pretty good. All right, and then on that note, that's it for this episode. So comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.